Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. We are busy here today. Here you can see 2007 Sequoia, which got fuel pump, which is inside of the tank, replaced. And you can see those videos on this channel. And today afternoon, I'm dealing with this 97 Tacoma. Very, very sweet truck. And everybody likes good stories, so I will tell you a really nice story. This owner of this sweet 97 Tacoma realized that the truck is running rough and he got also check engine light. So as many of you know, if you go to the aftermarket store, they can scan your computer for free, which they did. And they pulled the code P0304, which is misfire on the cylinder number four. So let's go together and see where the cylinder number four is on this legendary 3.4 liter V6. Do you have any idea where it is? Well, I will tell you. One, three, five, two, four, six. That's how these cylinders are marked. And the store didn't hesitate and they sold him the coil. You know there are coils here, right? It's kind of unusual setup. There are three coils, one, three, five. And there are wires, spark plug wires to running to the other side. You see them here, right? These are the wires, so the coil overs are only on this side and here are just normal wires. So he told me today he paid $70 for that coil, right? This one, the number one, actually feeds correctly. The wire is running to the number four cylinder, so they switched it in the correct place. But nothing was fixed. That wasn't diagnosed, it was basically the system of throwing money away, right? Because you keep replacing parts without knowing what is really broken. So he realized, oops, that's not it. And he came to see Peter. What I had to do, I just started it up, listen, the engine, it was really missing, you could hear it, right? I listen in the engine, I scan the computer, again confirmed P034. I remove this intake for you so you can see what I'm talking about, right? These are the coils. The here cylinder number one, three and five, right? Hopefully it's visible. Is it? Oh yeah, that's perfect. So you can see it and you can see those power plug cables running on the other side. And really, this one, the first one, is feeding the cylinder which is in the middle and it's number four. So I remove the spark plug and immediately find out that it's a wrong spark plug. And this drives me crazy. There is a huge notice for everybody here. Use twin ground electrodes plugs. There is even picture here showing you what to do. Of course, somebody put a wrong spark plug. This is NGK. Do you see twin electrodes at the tip of the spark plug? No, it's a wrong one. So I had in stock, right, marked the ones which are good, just used. This is the correct number, K16TR11. This is a double tip spark plug. Why is it not taking it? Okay, you can see it right now. So I replaced that, right? Right now in the truck is mine. This is the garbage and mine is there. I correctly install it, start it up, but the same problem. Hesitation, coughing, right? Puffing, not running correctly at the idle and it will definitely not run good and the check engine light even if it was erased will come back immediately so basically on the q 
common problems. What is the next thing you will do? You know the spark plug is good. I put a good one there. What you will do as a step number two? So of course I went upstairs where I store all my stuff again, right? And I brought original spark plug cable kit. The original, which is Toyota, which even has a numbers on it. I'm not sure if you can see it, probably not, right? So I matched the one, the blue one, it's aftermarket, right? The original Toyota, you see, has those special insulations on it, especially this one, right? The gray is original, blue aftermarket. So I replaced that cable, right? I just put it there really quickly and I started up the truck. And as you can imagine, these engines really last forever. It's not catastrophic failure. It's not a burn valves or something causing it. It was just a simple cable. Running here, the original Toyota, not even putting it correctly in these holders. This engine idles perfectly pulls like a kitten and runs like a Swiss watch. You don't believe me? Well, listen to this. All of you taco maniacs and taco friends, you recognize this poor, huh? What a signature sound of this 3.4 liter V6. If this is not it, I don't know what it is. You can hear the truck starting behind the corner on different street, right? And you know immediately that's the sound. So this is why I'm making this video. This is very common, right? Misfires are very common. And instead of replacing expensive coil, please first look on the spark plugs and on the spark plug wires. Very often when they get old, the resistance is bad or they start shooting, right? The insulation is bad and the spark, instead of going into the spark plug, it starting find a different way and it starts shooting in the spark plug tube right it is just a fail and it's not working correctly and it will give exactly this code misfire obviously not always this will be the result but i hope and i wish you that you will have such a easy repairs instead of you know failures like burned valves and so on but it's not common these engines really are great they have an absolutely great reputation if you take care of them. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give it thumb up and make sure you are subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day my friend.